All right, in this, in this lesson we'll be learning about um, how you can use a sense hat to um, interact with Minecraft. So first I've given you a link to this resource page and it's a very helpful resource but we'll go through it together. Um, you'll learn about what a sense hat can do, look at the data collected by a sensor on Minecraft and, and um, how to do stuff with that. So what you will need is of course your sense hat and a little sense hat comes provided um, and we'll go ahead and install that right now. So the sense hat um, has a little acceler accelerometer, uh, LEG or RGB LED matrix and a joystick. It has a gyroscope, an accelerometer and a magnetometer and can detect lots of stuff. We have other things like this that can do this, but they're not quite as user friendly. So we'll jump in right now and see what it looks like. So here is our is our sense hat. Um, notice that our sense hat has the LED buttons right here. This little thing on the side is the joystick. Okay, we'll learn about what each of these other things mean, but how do you attach it to your Pi. Now with the Pi powered off, that's key, if that little light's on, it's not so good. So you can go ahead and shut your Pi down and unplug. Okay. And then there should be a little set of uh, pin extenders. Actually I've already installed the pin extenders onto the, the Pi. Uh, it's this little um, metal piece and basically just push it in gently if it's okay if it stays on your teacher pie um, it'll be there and to take it off you have to gently use your fingernail or something very gentle and kind of wedge it underneath so you may not want to push it super tight on there okay and then the pie just kind of fits right on top of that and it'll push right into those little spots. You can screw it on below if you like. And then when it's time to plug it back in, you'll see that you'll get a initial color burst. There we go. And your computer's powering on. You'll need a program called Spacecraft. So We'll go and follow their link to the software installation page and in the same fashion that we've done before we will go and grab this bit of code and we will copy this and we'll put it into a new terminal window. And if we hit enter it's going to clone a program called Spacecraft. And it's done. Okay. Um, as well as the spacecraft spacecraft program, we also need to include a Python library that allows you to make your own spacecraft program. So let's do one more copy, and we'll paste this one in behind here. and it's going to do a complete install and we are ready to go. So what we're going to do is build a 3D model in Minecraft. Well, we're not going to build it, the code will build it. And uh, we'll open up a Minecraft, get a new world and pick a spot in our world um, that's nice and open. Okay, and then while this is opening, I'm going to open up terminal and put this command in here. So here's terminal. Oh, where did I go here? Looks like I landed on a big flat portion of the world. Nice little flowers and trees around. Okay. I'm just going to come and stay right here. This will be where I'll let my thing be created. 
I tab escape out of that. Over here I'm going to copy my command for spacecraft into the You can tell something just happened right above me in the world. It says right click the Astro Pi with a sword and see what it does. This is exciting enough that I'm going to expand to full screen here. Okay, Minecraft. Let's see, expand to full screen. There we go. run around a little bit. Wow, there it is. It is essentially my pie. Now here's one of the funnest things. If I right click on a screen, look what happens. Now. I can keep right clicking and the screen changes. I'm going to do this and you should be able to see this occurring on so what we're doing is essentially changing the code for the LED screen on the Pi so you can kind of see how that works. Okay, if I move over to one of these things and I say, what is this thing? This is an accelerometer, magnetometer, gyroscope. It can be used to sense motion. It tells me what the yaw and pitch is right now. If I move it, notice it's changing right now as I'm twisting it. That's pretty cool. I can get immediate feedback as I move around and do that. Let me move over and find out what this one is. Oh. This is the Pi's logic shifter and it allows electronics at different voltages to work together. I wonder what this thing is. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. Neat. And it tells me what the temperature and humidity is and I can blow on the, on the actual sense hat and it'll change as it goes. Oh, this is a little joystick. Okay, so kids will have a lot of fun playing with this and making edits to uh, what's actually on the screen. In the second uh, worksheet, you can um, run a little bit more code and it'll display a structure that'll be a real-time sensor for what's going on there. So again, we will copy this bit of code, put it into the Oh, notice over here on our thing it says control C to quit. Control C to quit and it goes away. One thing I did learn is that if you push the joystick with the right click button you can actually fly the the, um, the sense hat around the Minecraft world. So I'm going to paste the new code in here. And here we go. Minecraft real-time display a whole bunch of new structures are being created in here and let's read a little bit about what we can do there's four pillars here along each center of each pillar is a different type of block representing a different sensor the lava is temperature water is humidity obsidian's pressure and red wool is CPU temperature so let's go back into the world here and see there's four columns there. If I blow on the pie, just my breath causes the humidity to change and the temperature to change a little bit. Pretty cool. It looks like there is an international space station up here, up above. Um, this changes position based on the orientation of the sense hat. So I'm going to rotate the sense hat just a little bit. Now it's moving. So I'm sensing my position in the world based on the accelerometer and the yaw and the twist and the tilt. And 
it's reconfiguring it for me. So just to get a visual idea across of how a sensor can interact with your Pi and do that kind of stuff.